Hi boys and girls, happy Monday and welcome to um, your remote learning art class. Today we are going to do a fun little activity. If you guys didn't catch my video on Friday doing kind of a recap of um, how art class is going to run, I suggest that you go watch um, my previous video. I'm going to put a link in the description box below so you can check that out. But a little recap is that I'm only going to be putting out one video a day now so I don't confuse you with what um, what assignments we need to do. We're just going to have one single art project due every Friday and I'm going to show you five different art projects every week. One for every day, Monday through Friday. You get to pick one and that is what is assigned. However, if you would like to participate in all of the videos that I do this week, I would love that and I love when you guys share it with me either through my email or at our Instagram at H2 Visual Arts. I love seeing what you guys are doing. So today's activity, you are going to just need a few things that you have around your house. So you're gonna need some cups. I'm picking to do three different colors. So I have three different cups. So you only need um, the amount of cups that you have um, colors. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need some colors. So I'm just using some poster paint that I had at my house for my colors. You could also use food coloring, tempura paint, acrylic paint, anything that has um, a pigment of color. And you're gonna need some regular dish soap and some water, some straws, and some paper. So what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making bubble art. So we're going to do bubble prints on our paper, which is super cool and I'm excited to do. So to start off, you will have your cups and you will need to get your colors. I have green, so I'm going to put a little bit of the green color into one of my cups. I have purple. I'm going to put the purple color into one of my cups. And I also have this bright reddish orange that I'm going to be putting in it to one of my cups. The next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze in some dish soap. One little splash of dish soap. That is what we're putting in so it will, the bubbles will have their bubble texture. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we're just going to add a little bit of water you don't want to add too much, just a little bit of water so that we can blow some bubbles in there. So what we're going to do now is I'm using a different straw for each of um, our cups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my cups, I'm going to stir it up using one of the straws. This is my green color. And I'm going to really, really make sure that when I am making these bubbles, I am blowing out only. If you suck in, you're going to get paint in your mouth and soap in your mouth. And that is going to be so gross and so toxic and not something you should do. So you want to make sure that you are only blowing out into this cup to make bubbles. Like if you were blowing bubbles into, some people do that with milk and it makes bubbles. So it's like you're blowing bubbles. So you're only blowing out of your mouth. If you think that you are confused on how to do this, I want to make sure that you are doing this safely. So go ahead and grab, pause the video and grab one of your parents if you need to, or one of your olders or brothers and sisters so that they can help you make sure that you do this in the most safe way possible. So I'm taking my straw and I'm blowing big bubbles. As you can see, there are big bubbles right there. So I'm gonna take my other straw. You could use the same straw for all your colors, but I'm using a different one so it doesn't mix it. I'm getting my purple one, mixing all of it together, and now I'm blowing out and blowing those bubbles. So I got my bubbles with my purple, and now I am mixing up my reddish orange color, mixing that up. And I am going to blow some bubbles. Now, I blew my bubbles so that they come up a little higher than um, the cup so that they will print on our paper. Now, as you can see, this project is a little bit messy. 
So you might want to lay out some paper towels underneath this or do this in an area where um, it will not stain. You'll be able to clean up after. So I'm going to just blow a little bit more bubbles because some of them are popping. I'm going to take out my straws and put them on a paper towel. And now I'm going to take my piece of paper and I am going to lay it on top of my bubbles and as you can see there are colors of bubbles so you're going to do a bunch of layers of that so you might have to blow more bubbles every time so I'm blowing more green blowing more purple and blowing more of the orangey red color. Taking them out, the straws out, and putting them on my paper towel. And I am just pressing my paper over and over into our bubble mixture. As you can see, we're getting some more bubble colors. It looks really pretty in person. It's kind of hard for the camera to pick it up, but I'm just gonna be repeating this process over and over until I've filled up my entire paper with um, the color bubbles that I would like to see. As you can see this time, I've blown my bubbles really big so that I can just pop them with my paper and get the paint printed on. There we go. Starting to look really cool. And obviously you can change this up with whichever um, colors that you decide to use. So again, in the mixture, all you need is a little bit, like probably a couple tablespoons of water, one little pump of soap, and a little bit of a little squirt of paint or food coloring to make this work. And like I said, you can use a bunch of different colors. What I think is really cool about this is that once this dries, you could draw something on top of it and it's a really cool background. If you decide to use like blue and green colors, it would be a really pretty background for an ocean. Or it could be a background for the sky. A lot of you from my class know I really like doing hand lettering and calligraphy. I think this that this would be a really pretty background for some calligraphy. I think that that would look really pretty when you're done. I am really loving the way that this is looking. It's so pretty. I wish you guys can see it in person because it is gorgeous. I'll definitely be posting a picture on, posting a picture on our Instagram so you guys can see what the finished product looks like. because I don't think the video camera is doing it justice. All right, I'm gonna do one more round of our bubbles and then I think my art piece is going to be complete. Some of the bubbles haven't even popped on it yet, but it just has this really cool, almost sponge-like texture. And remember, texture is a word that tells us how something 
feel so it kind of looks spongy and definitely bubbly because that's what we we're using and I'm just really happy with how this turned out I think that my mixture of colors with the green kind of really look like scales of like a dragon or a snake or something I'm just really happy with how this turned out now if you're doing this activity at home you don't need to just make one of these you can blow bubbles and do multiple of them you can practice using different colors using the same colors and just doing it over and over again whatever you decide is best um is gonna turn out awesome because remember there are no mistakes in art and you are in charge of your masterpiece so whatever colors you decide to do i'm sure will turn out beautiful i had a lot of fun showing you today's art activity and i look forward to seeing what your bubble art looks like. I will see you guys tomorrow for our next art lesson.